Unlock the secrets of Toyota Denso Gen 3 ECU with the Obstar DC706, your ultimate guide. Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel, your number one destination for all things automotive diagnostics. Before we dive into today's exciting guide, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with our latest troubleshooting tips and tricks. Today, we're taking a deep dive into how you can use the Obstar DC706 ECU tool to read and write data on the Toyota Denso Gen 3 ECM, specifically for models are 7F701201 and are 7F701202, using a bench setup. Let's get started with our step-by-step -step walkthrough. To begin with, it's essential to ensure you have everything ready for a smooth operation. First, double check that your ECM software is version version 31.35 or above because this version or later is necessary to access all the features of our diagnostic tool. You should also have a stable internet connection during the entire operation to avoid any interruptions. The list of required tools and materials includes the Obstar DC706 main unit, the accompanying main cable, the Obstar P004 adapter, an ECU clone jumper, a reliable 12E power supply, and of course, the Toyota Denso Gen 3 ECU. With these items in hand, you're all set to proceed with the diagnostic and cloning process. Now let's walk through the procedure step by step. First, you need to access the ECM model by navigating within the tools menu to ECU Flasher, then selecting ECM. Once you're there, simply type in Gen 3 to quickly locate the specific ECM model for Toyota Denso Gen 3 covering both the R7F701201 and R7F701202 modules. After locating the model, the next step is to consult the detailed operation guide available within the software. By selecting the guide option, you'll have access to clear operation instructions as well as a comprehensive wiring diagram that you must follow to ensure proper connections. Now, Here's an important detail. The Toyota Denso Gen 3 ECU houses two separate microcontroller units, MCUs. The first MCU, identified as our 7F701202, is responsible for storing the ECM data, while the second MCU, labeled our 7F701201, manages the TCM data. It's crucial to understand that if you need to perform cloning, both sets of data must be cloned to fully restore or update the ECU. This versatile function allows you to read and restore flash data from both the TCM and ECM via the bench mode, making it an all-in-one solution for your diagnostic needs. Let's talk about wiring, the backbone of any successful operation. For a secure and efficient connection, follow the wiring diagram exactly as outlined. To elaborate in detail, connect pins 2, 9, and 26 on the ECU to the 12V power supply using connection number 16 on the tool. Then. Link pin 10 on the ECU to the ground by connecting it to the combined ground terminals, connections 4 and 5, on the tool. Next, for CAN bus communications, ensure that pin 11 on the ECU is connected to the CAN L line via connection number 14. Finally, complete the setup by connecting pin 8 on the ECU to the CANH line, corresponding to connection number 6 on the tool. With these detailed wiring instructions, you can confidently set up your connections. At this point, Make sure you like and subscribe if you're enjoying this detailed walkthrough. Now, let's move on to the actual reading and writing procedures. Start by setting up your connections. Use the provided wiring diagram to connect the Obstar DC706 to the Toyota ECM by utilizing the P004 adapter, the ECU clone jumper, and the main cable. Additionally, verify that your 12V power supply is securely connected to the main cable. For the first part of the process, select TCM. Our 7F70-1201 from the software menu. Then, follow these steps sequentially. Establish the connection. Read the internal flash memory, labeled as read INT flash for 7F70-1201. Proceed to write the internal flash memory, labeled as write INT flash for 7F70-1201. And finally, disconnect. When executed in the correct order, each operation will complete successfully ensuring that the TCM data is accurately read and updated. Next, it's time to work on the ECM module identified as our 7F701202. After confirming that the proper connection is in place, switch the tool to bench mode and choose the P004 adapter from the software options. Then, select ECM, our 7F701202, and follow a similar sequence. Connect, read the internal flash memory, our 7F701202. Write to the internal flash memory, 
are 7F701202, and finally disconnect. When these steps are followed diligently, you'll have successfully read and written data to the Toyota Denso Gen 3 ECM. Thank you for staying with us through this comprehensive guide. If you're finding this video useful, remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth tutorials and automotive insights. If you have any questions or need further clarification, drop a comment below and share your thoughts. Once again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to never miss an update. Happy diagnosing, and until next time, keep those engines running smoothly.